Hi, welcome again to this Fiverr course. Today we will see how to secure your web applications using OAuth 2.0 standard. In previous classes we saw an overall introduction, we started using Fiverr account and today we will secure an existing web application to authenticate users and their, with their username and password in Fiverr account. Okay, so let's start with uh, the Fiverr account. We have downloaded the node block that you can uh, find in, in the web page, in the e learning page. Okay, so we uncompress it and we open it in a development environment. Okay, so here we can see the different files. This is the package.json and we have also the public information and the views of this blog. Okay, so here we have the dependencies of our of this blog, of this application that is using Node.js. So we will install these dependencies using npm package manager. Okay, once we have all installed, we can start this blog this server this is the main file app.js and there we can find different information from this application we have for example the index okay here we render the view of the index page this is the form we render when the user wants to create a, a, a post and here all the information that we uh, obtain from from it we can also see a, a, an, a, a blog post and add new comments to that post. Okay, so this is the server running and we are trying it. It listens on port 80 and here we can see the different posts that came uh, by default. We can add new ones, they are stored in memory, not in a database, just for learning purposes. It's simpler, okay? So if we add a new post and, or we add new comments, we can see them uh, there in, in, in the blog. Okay, a title, a body, post high all, okay? And if we click on this, we will see it as a new post. Okay, it's very very simple, it's not for a production, a real blog, but it's for learning purposes, it's just enough. Okay, this is running, and we'll stop it. Okay, so now we are going to adapt it to OAuth, okay, to an OAuth environment using our uh, IDM, our Fiverr account. So we need a new library, it's OAuth, it's part of the NPM, it's a new package in, in the NPM package manager <coughs> and we will use this version. Okay, so we will install it, we run again NPM install to install the dependencies. We have all already installed the, the previous ones, so we only install OAuth. And we will add the needed code to start proceeding with with this information. Here we will uh, use the first of the OAuth mechanism to redirect users from our post, our blog, to the Fiverr account in order to authenticate them. So this is the first part of the code. Here we have the client ID, the client secret that we need to, to obtain from the Fiverr account. We will create this application uh, later and we will obtain these credentials from there. This is the URL and the uh, URLs to author authorize the, the user and to obtain the access token. Okay, so here we are we are going to add a new uh, URL to log in our users. Okay, this is part of the OAuth library that we are using and with it we are going to retrieve the OAuth access token. 
this URL is going to answer to the callback. Once the user is authenticated, the IDM will redirect the user to this URL. So here we are going to obtain the, the authorization code and with it we are going to make a request to uh, retrieve the access token. So here we are, if, if the user is uh, successfully authenticated, we will create cookies and so on. We, we also have a new, <coughs> a new uh, URL in which we will render the, uh, a new view, the OAuth IDM, okay? And there we will just have uh, uh, the, 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 the following information. Okay, we are using Jade to create, to generate the HTML code. Okay, and here we are using a div with an article and a link to the URL of the uh, Fiverr account. So we will show this URL when the user is, uh, has not a, a cookie, a valid cookie, uh, or a, an access token. Okay, so we will redirect uh, uh, the, the users who are not authenticated in the system. Okay, if the user clicks on this link, we will send it, uh, send him to the authorized URL, that is uh, the, the Fiverr account URL, to authenticate. So this will be the first step. Okay, and now we have to filter every request to the IDM just to know if the user is authenticated. So <clears throat> we just uh, request for the cookie of the user and if it is working, we will uh, it, it will pass. If not, or if the user is uh, retrieving the IDM out URL or the, or the callback URL, we will then uh, redirect to the, to the authenticated authentication system, okay? And finally, we only have to add a logout page in which we will remove the cookies from the user browsers. Okay, it's just to uh, finish all the <coughs> all the workflow in which the user can log in and can also log out. Here, we only have to clear the cookie and redirect to the index page, to the home page. Okay, we'll also change how the index page is showing because we will add a new link to log out the user. Okay, we will say, uh, we will uh, show a link for to the user in order to uh, to 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 log out from the from the blog. Okay, so now we have to register our, our application and obtain these credentials. In the Fireware account, <clears throat> so in our in our account, we will create this new application. We have to give a name to this application. This for information because every user who is uh, trying to use this application will see this information, so it should be descriptive. This is the URL of our application. Just as we are using it in a development environment, we are using localhost. If we were using it in a production environment, we will have to add either the public uh, host name. We have just carried that the callback URL is the same in our code and here in the application. And we can add also our own logos, our own roles for the users. We will see it in the last class of this course. Okay, so once we have uh, updated all, the Fiverr account gives us the credentials. So we have to add there in our library, the client ID and the client secret. Okay, so that's all and we can start again our application.
okay it's, it's working and now we try to access the blog so it it uh, detects that we don't have a cookie so it shows us the the URL to, authent to authenticate so the first time that we authorize the application it will uh, show this information the favor account will show this information to accept to, to give access to this application but we will start again by uh, with a user that is not authenticated okay so it redirects and it shows us the uh, authorization the authentication form in the IDM in the Fiverr account so here we put our uh, our credentials and there then we have here the authorization page we only see this page once so once we accept it will send back to our blog and we can start using it with our credentials we can enter a new post we can do the same what that we did before okay and we can also log out from the system it just removes our cookie and then it uh, redirects again to the authentication page in which we have the, the link to the firewall account okay now if we click on this as we are uh, authenticated in the firewall account it will redirect back again to our application so that's all in this class we have seen how to adapt our applications using an OAuth library and authenticate our users using their credentials in our account. So thank you for attending this class and I will see you on the next one. Bye.